YouTube kick. All right, let's answer this question. <coughs> Why don't I get high? I'm just gonna come out with the obvious answer first because I don't need to hide that. Uh, number one, getting high all the time is an immoral thing. Um, changing my state of mind is the same thing as me getting drunk every day. It puts me outside of my mind and makes me do same things that might not be as rational, okay? Okay, let's get that out of the way. But here's the other part. The reason I don't want to get high as well, and maybe I'll come from a more logical standpoint, is because what I've seen in the stoner community, even though I'm... I wouldn't say I'm part of the stoner community. I'm part of the cannabis community. Um, but what I see in the cannabis community sometimes is people who smoke so much weed. They, I saw somebody put a post up where they had, I think, eight blunts. It said one first blunt is like getting up in the morning. The second blunt is for digestion. The, uh, the next blunt is for breakfast. Uh, the next blunt that has digestion too. The next blunt... It's for lunch. The next blunt is like getting off work. The next blunt is for digestion again. Another blunt for dinner. And then a blunt in case they have insomnia. That's the problem. And people think that's normal. What people don't understand is people who talk about getting high every day and every second of their day is, is explaining a drug addict. You're no different from a drug addict in that way. If you're choosing to get high just to be able to um, function... <laughs> Like, it's funny because when somebody says they're a productive stoner, it's it's actually a paradox. Because when somebody says I'm a productive stoner, what they really mean is I I have to get stoned to be productive. I completely trust me. I've been there, done that. Heavy in the stoner community. Um, that's what I used to do. I used to, I used to say I'm a productive stoner because guys. You gotta understand when I was first making YouTube videos, that my stoner, my stoner videos, guys, I put out over a thousand videos in six months. I was productive. I would wake up, make YouTube videos. At lunch, I would make YouTube videos, and at night, I would make YouTube videos plus one video an hour, and then I would do a live stream. So every day, I made at least eight pieces of content. I would do three news stories in the morning. Three news stories. Um, after I would do those three news stories, I would do um, a five shorts, and you know you can intertwine those. I would do five shorts for YouTube, and then at lunch I would do five more shorts. Oh, actually, I was doing like maybe my, maybe like fifteen to twenty pieces of content. But anyway, I do those three short stories, five shorts in the morning, five YouTube shorts at lunch, and when I got home, I would do a topic like I'm doing now, and then when I would do a live stream. And if I got a new product or something, I would go ahead and make a video on that. So I had to make a product video and I would add to it. So all day long, I was making YouTube videos, a thousand videos in six months. So you couldn't say I was unproductive because I was doing all that while having a full-time job, you know, and um, doing everything else in my life. But, um, and I was being very diligent. I was buying new bongs almost every other week. I was getting new products almost every other week. I was making sure I was sticking with my reviews and everything. Here's the problem. What ended up happening is I ended up being too reliant on my weed because I wanted I wanted so badly to be a big weed tuber. And I, I was so heavily in the stoner community where I thought that being high all the time was normal. And what ended up happening, and this wasn't even part of the plan, but I couldn't even get up in the morning to go do anything without getting high. I had to go get high to get to the grocery store. I had to go get high to go get more marijuana. I had to get high just to go uh, to go get more bongs. I had to get high to do my laundry. I had to get high to eat. I had to get high to do the dishes. I had to get high to go to work. I had to get high after work to go home. I had to get high to go to sleep. It's like it was too much. And people don't think that's a drug addiction. Like if you're having to get high to do anything, how is that a functioning person? You know what that's called? A functioning addict. And I already know what I'm saying is not popular, but I prom I'm not gonna say I promise you. I've ran into enough marijuana addicts now. I've heard a bunch of stories about marijuana. 
a bunch. Um, I myself is telling my story as well. And I'm telling you, this this marijuana, as heavily as concentrated as it is, it, it, it messes your brain up. Because you got to understand, marijuana now, the TAC content could be up to 90% if you're smoking a cart, right? 80% if you're doing dabs. Uh, anywhere from 30 to 50% if you're doing the uh, infuse. I mean, you're, you're doing marijuana with the mix of either keef or you're doing a mar uh, marijuana mix with the uh, oils or mix with the wax or a butter or anything like that. You can get it up even higher when you smoke joints like that. And so people are getting so high, their brains are becoming dependent on it, right? And that's why I say you got to stay, you got to be careful. That is why I chose, obviously, I'm going to tell my story right quick and we'll get up out of here. What stopped me from, what made me make that turnaround? Well, one day I got super, I was high and I had a panic attack, right? Obviously, anybody who has a panic attack for the first time of their life, they freak out, they go to the hospital, think they're having a heart attack, think they're dying, like me. Um, and they told me I was fine. They told me my heart was good. And they told me, uh, actually, they told me a lot of good things. I was actually surprised but nonetheless another thing that was I was told to me I, I tried to go back to the weed right that I mean literally that next day I smoked again because I had a few YouTube I had sponsors I couldn't just walk away so I got high and I did a live stream and I had another panic attack okay so I, I, I gave it up and I said you know what? I'm just gonna wait a few days and every time I got high from that point on Obviously, my anxiety went to the roof. And so I said, okay, well, let me stop smoking weed. So I quit smoking weed, and my world went from scary to a nightmare. For the next nine months that I was clean, I had the worst anxiety I've ever ex experienced in my entire 30 years of living. Okay? I was 30 when this all started. Um... And I went through nine months of just a nightmare. And I didn't smoke anything. I didn't drink, obviously. I didn't smoke, obviously. I didn't do anything. I fought it for nine months, speaking it out, crying, feeling like I'm crazy, feel like I'm going to die. Um, and that made me realize this TAC F me up. Because I ain't never felt like this in my life until I started smoking weed as heavily as I did. And then when I stop, my brain cracks. I go through, through derealization, depersonalization. I can't sleep. I can barely eat. I'm scared to die every single day. That Every single day I wake open my eyes. No. That's what I knew. I'll never get high again. Obviously, I smoke hemp. Um, but I didn't start smoking hemp until here recently. I went through that nightmare for nine months straight. By myself with no help from nothing and even this hemp it doesn't like i've already gone through the hard part i'm doing it all by myself every single day feeling like i'm crazy chest pains intrusive thoughts suicidal thoughts all of it man hated it i think i'm gonna double this video by the way hold on let me know. i think i'm gonna put this on my youtube video my main channel and then my smoke channel so I guess this will be a double because I want both people to see it. But uh, yeah, man, that's why I don't get high anymore. It ruined it. It ruined the last nine months of my life, and I still feel anxious some days. I hate that, but uh, we're getting back to it. The only thing that sucks is I kind of slid back, not to marijuana, but you know, as far as because the anxiety, because I was so scared, man, I was really good about keeping my health good. I want to get back to that and I'm doing better. I'm not overeating or anything. I'm not eating every second of the day. I'm, I'm coming back to myself. Um, but you know, I still struggle here and there. <sighs> Just trying to get it together. Anyway, if you ever ask yourself, man, why doesn't a channel called what can I smoke and not get high? Now you know, peace. <laughs>